Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have this beautiful uh, exponential equation before us and then we are going to look at it together and see how to solve the problem. 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equal to 1 to uh, 130. What will be the value of x? Okay, so what will be the x value? So let's uh, quickly jump into this and see how it goes. So we have solution 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equal to 130. Now, to solve this problem, uh, first we start with the 8 to the power of x and then write, uh, express it in base 2. So we have 2 to the power of 3, that is the 8, is 2 to the power of 3, to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equal to 130. So next is to apply this law. a to the power of m all to the power of n equal to a to the power of mn. When we multiply, we can get mn. And which can also be transformed to a to the power of... So the n takes this position of m and then the m takes the position of n. And so we have it there. So applying this law to this, so we're going to have 2 to the power of x all to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of x equal to 130. All right. So next is to say let m equal to 2 to the power of x. And so, if m is equal to 2 to the power of x, then this equation becomes this equation becomes m to the power of 3 plus m equal to 130. This is cubic. Now, I'm going to write it in the standard cubic form, which is now m cubed plus m, and so my, uh, 130 makes a transition to the left to become minus 130 and then that equal to 0. Now, if we look at this equation, we have a perfect cube. Okay? We have a perfect cube. And I'm going to do something now. Let's look at 130. We can get 125. We can write 130 as... 125 plus 1 uh, plus 5. Yes. 130 is 125 plus 5. So I'm going to use 125 plus 5 to replace this, although it is negative. So it's going to be minus 125 minus 5. So I have m cubed plus m minus 125 minus 5 equal to 0. Okay. And this 1 to 5 is a perfect cube, right? So we have m cubed plus m minus 5 raised to the power 3, that is 5 cubed, minus 5 equal to 0. Okay, so what I do now is to bring this and this together as m cubed minus 5 cubed plus, I bring this, and this together, m minus 5 equal to 0. So this now becomes a perfect cube. Okay? This now becomes a perfect cube. And if we recall in algebra that a cubed minus b cubed is the same as a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, so I'm going to apply this expression to this difference of two cubes. Okay, and so this becomes, and for this to work perfectly, we're going to assume that A is M and B will be equal to 5. Okay, let's go ahead. So this becomes um, M minus 5 times m squared plus 5m plus 
5 squared plus m minus 5 equal to 0. Okay. So, if you look at the left-hand side now, you can see m minus 5, m minus 5. It's common. So, we can take it out as a factor. So, we have m minus 5. Okay. So, if I divide m minus 5, multiply by m squared plus 5m, plus 5 squared by this, I'm going to get m squared plus 5m plus, uh, so this 5 squared becomes 25. Then plus, if you divide this by this, we are going to get 1 equal to 0. Okay, so from here, I make the transition over to this side. So we're going to have, so from here we have m minus 5 times m squared plus 5m plus 25 plus 1 is 26, all equal to 0. So this is um, uh, uh, two, the product of two factors. So if we have a dot b equal to 0. So what this means is that a equal to 0 or b equal to 0. That is the product, the zero product law of quadratic. And therefore, this here becomes m minus 5 equal to 0 or m squared plus 5m plus 26 equal to 0. Okay. So from here we can say that m is equal to 5. That is one solution. Okay? This is one solution. The second solution will be m squared plus 5m plus 26 equal to 0. Now let's see if this can be factored. Okay? And the way to do it is to find the discriminant of this particular quadratic equation where we have d equal to b squared minus 4ac. And so here, a equal to 1, b equal to 5, and c equal to 26. Let's see if it is factorizable. So we have d equal to b is uh, 5, 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 26. So that will be 25 minus uh, 104. That is uh, minus 79. Now, because the value is, because this value is, okay, so it's going to be minus 79 here, all right? So because the value of d, d is the discriminant of the quadratic uh, expression, because it is less than zero, so this has no real root, no real root, no real root. Okay, so we have it here. So no real root, no real root. Therefore, the only solution we have is therefore m equal to 5. Well, this one, the reason why, if it has no real root, that means that the roots are imaginary. That's another way of saying it, imaginary roots. Okay, so, now don't forget that, uh, recall that we have said that, recall that 2 to the power of x equal to m. And then, of course, m equals to 5. Therefore, we can say that 2 to the power of x equal to 5. So how do we solve this? We just take the natural log or the log of both sides to base 10. Let's use log to base 10. So we have take log of both sides. So we have log 2 to the power of x base 10 equal to log 5 to base 10. Okay. And then there's a, a, a law that we can apply here that this x becomes the coefficient of the log and 
that is a x log 2 is 10 equal to log 5 is 10. So if that's the case, we can say that um, we can say that from log p base uh, p to the power of n base a, then we have this law that the n becomes the question of the log. So we have n log p base a. So this law is is what I've just applied here. Therefore, I can go back and from this we have that x log 2 base 10 equal to log 5 base 10. So we divide both sides by log 2 base 10, log 2 base 10. So we have log 2 base 10 cancel out on both sides. And so we have x equal to log 5 base 10 divided by log 2 base 10. Okay. And log 5 base 10 is um, 0 0.699. And then log 2 base 10 is 0 0.301. So once we divide that, we're going to get um, we're going to get approximately 2.32 as our result. Therefore, we can conclude by saying that x is equal to 2.3. 3, 2 is nearly equal to, not exactly, it's nearly equal to um, 2.32. So there you have it, guys. Um, the solution to the problem is um, x equal to 2.32. And that arose from the fact that m equal to 5. The other value, the other values of x are imaginary. So meaning that they do not have real root, okay? And so for the question, we were solving, we are, we are trying to solve for the actual value of x, okay? So guys, there you have it. Learn, uh, watch, learn, subscribe, like, comment, and share my video. I will see you in my next class. Thank you.